I'm even going to let Ringo sing a couple. But I'm shit at singing. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Commercial Chaos, everybody. Um, it has returned. And so has uh, Snoop Dogg. I have an announcement. Now, this is uh, the November edition. So this is a slightly smaller edition of Commercial Chaos. Thank you, Mad Clown, for putting this together so quickly. And Snoop has an announcement. But first, I just want to say, dude, sick reference to Smoke Dog smoking smoking weed I have an announcement I'm giving up smoke I know what you're thinking Snoop smoke is kind of your whole thing but I'm done with it done with the coughing and my clothes smelling all sticky icky I'm going smokeless solo stove did you believe fire. this shit they took out the smoke clever Dude, sick reference to Snoop Dogg smoking weed. I can't believe you're so clever. It was just it was a commercial over a stove. But, but you wouldn't believe how he went and said he would stop smoke and then he make a stove. Stove with no smoke. I see what he did. That's very clever. So they smoked the weed still, but now he get the mad money so he can continue to smoke. Really, really impressive marketing, though, seriously. And I've heard about this shitty stove from uh, Conan O'Brien also promotes the stove <laughs> like it's just a, a dog what is it a garbage can fire i mean all right it's got no smoke in it so that's cool apparently you can make food in it there's an oven version but uh yeah i mean listen snoop said he stopped smoking and this was the result of it i can't even really be mad because it was brilliant so good for you smook now smoo uh, sorry snoop Speaking of... What's bugging you, Murphy? Drugs. Drugs bug me. Hi. That was Nancy Allen and me. I'm Peter Weller, the guy behind that mask. If you're a kid, please listen for a second. How do you keep away from drugs? Well, They're everywhere. Sometimes even at home. Just eat Oreos there instead. There's place you can go that is 100% drug-free. No pot, no pills, no crack, no smack, no coke, no exceptions. The this? Boys and Girls Club. It beats the streets. No kidding. Yeah, it was a slightly quiet commercial. Um, this? Sorry, this is crack. So uh, you just give him, again, you give him an Oreo. He's happy. No problem. Also, uh, just so you know, the credits for these commercial submissions will be rolled into next month's because there was such uh, a, sh a short time that Mad Clown had to get these together. So if you want the credits for who submitted, that will be in December's edition. Sounds like this commercial is being played from a pipe. I see what you did there, Mad Clown, by the way. I get it. Thanks, kid. You did it. Robo wants an Oreo. You know what's funny, too? When I said garbage fire like trash can fire, my mind immediately went to RoboCop anyway because that is part of the streets of Detroit in that film and game. So it's you just three in a row. Amazing. Wait, that's sexa. So, all right, um, you get now you get to have um, shagging with Austin Powers in your Thanksgiving. Make it a tradition. What do you think of the taste of Listerine? Terrible. Oh, I've tried others. What do you think of the they sound of this commercial? Bread, so Terrible. I stick to Listerine. Hey, wait a minute. You say you hate it, but you keep on using it? Why, well, yeah. I think if it didn't taste so strong, it wouldn't be working. Well, look at here. Kills germs. The germs Chat. that can give you bad breath. See? Do you know and who this lasts. is? You understand? Yeah, now, if you didn't hate it, you... Then I wouldn't use it. Right. Listerine antiseptic. It's got the taste people hate twice a day. That was Morgan Freeman. That was him. Back when he was just selling Listerine. Yeah, that's a, that's a very crusty commercial in terms of quality. But 
I, listen, if Morgan Freeman tells me to drink Listerine, I'm going to drink. It. Wait, wait, was it drink or use it? Whatever. I mean, he's just, I'm going to use it or drink it if he tells me. Guess the celebrity chat. Oh, it's the fly episode, but way before Breaking Bad. Oh, that's an awful. Uh, just a reminder you do not have to be in the deep woods to uh, appreciate the uh, deep woods off. That's an awful sounding uh, commercial, but you know what? I feel like I might have seen that. But I would have only known Brian Cranston from Seinfeld at that time. Clever commercial. Good ad. Um, see, again, see if you can guess the celebrities. I'm sure you'll be able to for most of them, but see if anyone knows who this is. Probably you remember Swam Oh, Muhammad it's Sammy Sosa. It says it. <laughs> Today, I would like to invite you to my real home, the Dominican Republic. I know, it's all left ear commercial. Your turn to swing the bar and hit the home run for the most memorable vacation of your life. Come to the Dominican Republic. All Americans are welcome. The Sammy Dominican Sosa got a Republic. fucking paycheck for that Share commercial. Let me tell you, they they gave him so much money. I kind of want to go now. It worked on me, I think. Hello, I'm John Cleese, and today I'm here to address the a very celebrity chat. serious issue, an issue with the potential to affect us all. Subliminal advertising. A very subversive technique. It's Eric Idle. Images flash before our eyes that last only a split second, but just long enough to imprint in our vulnerable minds a product's name. <laughs> Not just that either. Sophisticated vocal tricks are sometimes used without our realizing it at a conscious level. <laughs> 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 So, suddenly, there we are in the market buying things like crazy without knowing why. Well, I say, if an advertiser has something to say, let him or her come right out and say it. <laughs> the thought that these people are assaulting us with their hidden persuasions morally offends me. Now, I've said what I came here to say. And now there is a film to be seen, or a movie, as you American persons call it, starring my twin brother. So sit back, relax, and if I may be so bold, try pouring yourself a glass of the first non-alcoholic sparkling beverage that comes to mind. Whatever it may be. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, was that not on, on it before? Oh my god! Wow. Okay. Uh, well, that was that was a, a one take ad. Uh, There's a little Python esque. There was um wasn't there a subliminal character in a Monty Python sketch anyway? Was it Eric Idle that did a um a subliminal thing? I think there was. Yeah, the subliminal man. Yeah, yeah. But I like that. Uh, that was a pretty pretty well done ad and uh, well acted, well read. Guess the celebrity chat. Patrick? What's up, Ryan? Ah! Oops. That's right, Todd. Get dunked on by Patrick Chewing. There's just Patrick Ewing. Hello, if I told you that the world's Another most John advanced Cleese. desktop computer was made of bananas and old mudguards, you'd think me daft if I said... Chicken soup and Spitfire propellers. You'd think me a moon calf. So, if I tell you that Compaq have made the world's most advanced desktop computer from 386 chips and 32 bits of a bus, you'll think me unreliable. What are you so talking I'm not about? I'm going to do this ad. I've got a reputation to think of. Compaq Desk Pro 386. Chips, buses, and compatibility. It, <laughs> I still don't even know what he's talking about. That was also his clone, I think. His twin brother, whatever he said. Where's Wally? 
Wallace? Where's Wallace? Where's Wallace? Where's Waldo? Do you know who that is? Do you know what celebrity? That is right. Patton. No. Wait, what's his name? Oh, Oswald Pattinson. Brother of Robert Pattinson. Well, 007, how did you come to Royal Well, this is a very cleasy set of commercials today. Oh, which Where one is this? Exactly Nightfire? No. This. Agent Underfire. I suppose you can explain this. Oh, James. It's not easy being yeah. bombed on Nintendo GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation 2. Rated T for teen. I wonder what the PS1 version of that was like. Because apparently there was a PlayStation logo. Probably looks like poop. Um, it says PlayStation 2, but that's the original PS1. So I, just, I wonder. Maybe it's not. Uh, that game, you can tell that that's Agent Under Fire just by looking at the James Bond because that's not based on any particular James Bond. For Nightfire, they got uh, Pierce Brosnan to... Um, there is no PS1 version. Yeah, so this this particular one is based on Archer. Hello, it's me, Archer. Do you, uh, you need me for a James Bond game? Okay. But yeah, he's just generic combo Bond. And then in Nightfire, they got Pierce Brosnan's likeness and used that. Vinny, there was a PS1 agent under fire. Okay, we're going to find out right now because I'm seeing both. Agent under fire PS1. Um, there's a two-hour video of it on YouTube. <laughs> so there's that. No, there's not a PS1 version. Anyway. Um, that's it for celebrity commercials. Now we have retro commercials. This Kenmore microwave oven with variable power can defrost and Don't cook fucking put a turkey in the microwave. Turkey. What is Kenmore wrong can? with you? Kenmore can. Kenmore can. And right now you can save $60 on this Kenmore microwave with electronic scan. This is very left ear propaganda. I can save $60? It's specially priced at $379.95. Aren't you ready for a microwave? Yes, I am. Make it a Kenmore. I can't Solid hear in my right ear at all. Kenmore. Chad, am I deaf? Oh, it was just a bad commercial. Okay. I don't know. Could you could you heat up a fucking massive turkey in a microwave? Someone just said this is the first microwave commercial I've seen in my whole life. You could defrost it. I guess you could defrost it. Yes, but it would be dry. I love dry turkey. Love dry turkey. Isn't this the one that was biting kids' fingers off? Because, like, the kids would stick, like, oh, 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 not fingers off, but, like, it would get their hair and it would get stuck in the motors. Here. Eat sold separately, butter's not included. Hmm. That is very disturbing product, but yeah, that was a canceled product. Because again, if you put if you like get your hair stuck in there, the, the motors are just gonna like and then suddenly um scalped. I wonder who's babysitting tonight. Oh god. This is Winkler. No playing. No jumping on couches. No loud music. What if she says no Captain Crunch? Well, that's just unfathomable. Oh, Maddie. Crunch and eyes. Welcome to my house. House party, that is. All I want to do is jump and crunch. Sweet. Jump and crunch. My Captain Crunch cereal is a cool part of this balanced breakfast. Crunch it ties me, Captain. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I was just thinking about the voice of Captain Crunch and how when I was growing up in like, you know, the late 80s, early 90s, I remember there was a specific Captain Crunch voice and that's not it. But I'm sure Captain Crunch has had many voices. 
just like Ronald McDonald had many voices. The one I remember when I was growing up was a very distinct McDonald voice. And then you go back to the seventies and it's like weird. And then there's like different McDonald voices. And then there's like Australian Ronald. Hey gang, come up into my tree house. Um, do you remember when Norm McDonald was Colonel Sanders? Cause he was, he had a series of commercials that were actually aired. It's kind of weird. Maybe we can get those in a future commercial chaos. Cinnaburst with flavor crystals keeps on going chew after chew. It could be the taste that lasts longer than you. Whoa! Cinnaburst, chew till it hurts. Don't because then you get TMJ and then you get like jaw problems and tinnitus. No, don't chew until it hurts. What's wrong with you? the mean old germs what hi i live in a house doreen oh that's my mommy and she has another grease burn on her hand but mommy doesn't paint it up mommy doesn't smear it up this is what we do for first day now goes the back tea goes the back tea down go the mean old germs it smells so nice and doesn't stain i have a baby brother too but chat i'm like disassociating watching this The mean old germs. Holy and back shit. Was that words? Down goes the mean old, old germs. germs. I want back teen now. Yeah, it turns out they put asbestos in there, chat. I'm sorry to tell you. So down goes down goes the esophagus. It's very unfortunate, but it would turn your jaw and teeth into pulp. Um, but it was a good product because the amino acids died with it. Or whatever, germs. We need Patrick Ewing to tell us about Listerine or wh whoever sold the Listerine to us. I forget which <laughs> which celebrity it was. One day at the Fruit Roll of Factory. Good morning. Good morning. Morgan Good morning, Freeman, Sean. sorry. Good morning, Steve. Whoa. Have you seen Sean? He looks funny. So Definitely have seen this commercial. The faces. The faces. They're all stretched out. Isn't it cool? Huh? Hey, I've got it. It's new stretchy faces for rollups. Yep. The more you yep, stretch, yep, yep. I've seen this one. Faces get new stretchy faces for rollups. What are you looking at? What fun fruit rollups will we roll out with next? I mean, it's it's a good advertisement just from, okay, this the same fucking product and they just printed some shitty faces on them so there's nothing different it tastes the same i don't know it's probably it's probably fine i would say though um the advertising is great because you could just do a funny commercial also someone said their audio is delayed refresh the stream that might fix it i, I don't think it's delayed on my end Make way, America. Spray some back on them. Jack in the Box extended value menu 4x4. Four four. For about a now that Jack has beefed up his value menu. We're about America. I'm going to fuck. It's time for America. So climb aboard, America. The bird of fur. All right, cool. This commercial gave me heartburn. No jokes as a chat member. That sums it up. Doctor, he needs an operation. Is it water on the knee? Operation. Operation. Labor Day. Remove the pieces and collect your fee. But don't touch the sides. Take out the ribs carefully. Day but day. It's another one of those like brain virus commercials I've seen so many fucking times. Probably this one too. Yep. Is that Gray Leno? It's a young Gray Leno. 
It's Rem Lazar's shitty cousin. It's it's Rem Leno. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. A new character unlocked. Someone said, no joke, I returned this game as a kid because it scared me so bad. Yeah, I can see that. He's a mix of Grey Leno, Rem Lazar, Robbie Rotten, and someone else. I can't, and maybe like an Elvis kind of guy. But I remember this commercial. I remember the CG of, of like him getting the pieces popped out of his shirt. Yeah, like if there's an Ace Ventura kind of thing happening here too. Morrissey, Bruce Campbell. Oh God, there's a million different people in this person. Christmas is here. Christmas is here. Ba la la la. Ba la la la. Be a fat dick. Christmas is here. Ba la la la. Ba la la la. Ding Christmas dong. Oh God! The Target two-day sale is happening now. Fa la la la! But you know what the real version of that sounds like, right? Big dicks are here. Big dicks are here. Big dicks are here. Come, cummy, cummy, come, cummy, cummy, come, cummy in my tummy. Would you like a piece of shit? Would you like a piece of shit? I'm, chat, this isn't words from my mouth. This is just what people would be doing if there was an opportunity to record your own audio onto those cards in the store at the shelf. You know, I'm not clip farming. I'm not clip farming because I don't want that as a clip. I want to let you know, I'm trying to educate you that that, in fact, it, I'm not clip farming. That is really what people would do. They would do that at, to troll people. So when they buy their holiday cards, it, it's talking about dicks and, and it's talking about... This is Middle Earth, home of hobbits. And here's your hotline to all its wonders. Call now to receive your own feature-length video cassette of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. Oh, this is the original Hobbit. Only $34.95. Use your credit card. Your family will love The Hobbit. Wait, $34.95? stars and says, Blended, delicious fun. Delicious the fun. Hobbit, an enchanting video from Sony, available in beta or VHS. Adjusted for inflation, that's like fucking, what, now. 80 bucks? Jesus. For one tape. I've seen Blu-rays cost that much these days. Yeah, I mean, here, let me find out. Oppenheimer Blu-ray. 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, um, 50 bucks on 4K. Blu-ray, 2496. The reason I used Oppenheimer is because it's a, a, a successful movie. It's a long movie. And uh, yeah, 50 bucks for the, H, the 4K Ultra HD, but it also comes with the Blu-ray. Interesting. Slop, a little Sloppenheimer. That's what they'd be doing in those cards in Target. When it comes to great holiday pumpkin pies, there are no two ways about it. Mrs. Brinker's is Mrs. Smith's. And because as she says, this is family, Mrs. Tonelli's pumpkin pie is always Mrs. Smith's. Mario. Mrs. Smith's pumpkin pie, right from using pumpkins grown especially for us, they're made with exceptional care, which is precisely why even Mrs. Smith's pumpkin pie is Mrs. Smith's. For the holidays, every family's pie should be Mrs. Smith's. Great pumpkin pie. Did you make it? No, I bought it. Um, well, I went to a, a friend's giving and, and uh, they, someone made a pecan pie. My friend made a pecan pie. It was, it was unbelievably good. I mean, it's very sugary, which is why it was so good. Pecan, chat, pecan. Oh no, it's the symptoms. <laughs> what? This episode, a proper lemma. <laughs> there you go, love. Oh, this is great. There you go, love. Beecham's hot lemon. Hey, hey. Beecham's hot Feeling lemon. better? Yep. There you Looks go, like... love. That you... fast, comforting Beecham's <laughs> hot lemon. Do you say anything lemon. else? Well, that was pretty funny, better. actually. She looked like uh, a fucking Doug character. 
I think this is an underrated cartoon and deserves a full season. Adjusted for inflation, that deep, that blue uh, that tape would have been about one hundred and sixty five dollars, according to Google. Wow. Okay. Also, I wanted to mention. I I think special features are what makes it. Like so, that twenty five dollar Blu Ray. I'm okay buying that if there's like four hours of extra stuff on it. I am aware of so many people that said that the Lord of the Rings special features, the huge documentaries, the behind the scenes stuff, got them into filmmaking. So. That is what I hope to be paying for. Otherwise, I just will not pay and will watch it other ways. So, put, you know, if you put the effort into a decent Blu-ray, I'll buy it. But When Paul Woods opened his animation studio, he pictured he'd just need a secretary and some phones. Hello. You but know what he's going to do with that secretary. Come on. He's going to put her to work and he's going to pay her fairly and give her a lot of vacation time. So the characters insisted he'd call Bell of Pennsylvania for Bell Atlantic Centric Service. It had the latest phone features, was maintenance free, and when they branched out, Centrex flew with them. So if you have trouble communicating, draw on Bell of Pennsylvania, a Bell Atlantic company, for more than just talk. Who framed Mr. Roger? Whoa, 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 what? Oh, because it's a rat. I get it. Uh, yeah, rat from New York. Vinny, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's the only time I ever fucking hear that name. A rat or a mobster? He's from Mars? He's from Space New York, then. There's definitely a New York Mars, if that's what he's he's named. Trust me. Wait, did I just put my own stereotype in there? Ah, oh, shit. Cool quit. Cool quit. Not a big fan of Cool Whip. I forget. Oh, God, what was it? There was something that was made with Cool Whip. There's some dessert that I remember someone brought to a party. It was made with Cool Whip, and it tasted terrible. It was supposed to be uh, something not Cool Whip, but they used Cool Whip. Uh, anyway, I forget what it was. I'm missing the story, so why am I even explaining it? But let's continue. It's fine. Cool Whip is fine. I liked it more when I was a kid. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Gaylord, the pup is full of tricks. Watch. Back up, Gaylord. At a boy. Oh my god. Climb, Gaylord. Up. Up. Now fetch Wait, your is is it just a puppet that you like? Good boy, Gaylord. Lord, he looks kind of crazy. Oh, there's batteries required. With a bone of his own, he's a wonderful toy. He's ideal. He's gay, Lord. Gay, gay, Lord, the gormless, as a chat member. Yeah, that's an interesting. Um, that's great. Thank you, commercial, for that. Uh, and batteries required too for his bone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Target turkey Graham at seven in the morning is our sale. At seven in the morning is our sale. Special send right at eleven, and you will be in heaven when you save all kinds of money at our sale. Black and Decker cordless drill. I thought that drill was going to go into his skull. The loom, three thirty-three. Christmas gift wrap two for a dollar. These prices make you holler. Oh my God! Money What's wrong with me? Hour sale within a sale. Target's four-hour specials. A few more reasons to give thanks. I thought that was the joke, that it was going to be like a brutal, like, you know, it's like a joke commercial. Oh, my God. Something's wrong. Oh, my God. For that grand Thanksgiving feast, Safeway has everything you need from the finest fruits and vegetables to quality beef and savory hams. I bet North their gravy Coast tastes like Safeway fucking slop. Featuring Manor House Grade A turkeys. Over 18 pounds, just 37 cents a pound. Limit one per customer. Again, Fresh amazing price. Also available. Order yours now. Safeway will be closed Thanksgiving Day.
you get, listen, you have to have a little jingle. The jingle is very important. Do you like dry turkey? Go to Safeway. We have the driest turkey. This turkey is the fucking Sahara. You want this turkey and you want it in your microwave. And then you're going to put some disgusting, I mean, delicious gravy on it. What kind of gravy, you ask? <laughs> Top it with Cool Whip. What is it? <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> this is fucking disturbing. Tired of wrestling with turkey? Try Jenny O oven ready turkey. From freezer to oven to perfect. Look at turkey now. Oh my god. Why was that turkey so fucking thick though? I, I, another, you know, that's another turkey that probably is also like, what are they doing to it to make it easy to make? Honestly, turkey should take a little effort. It takes effort to make a good turkey. Welcome to Silly Six Pins Bowling, the game that actually talks. Hey, let's get the ball rolling. Who said that? <laughs> These silly pins are unbelievable. Nice shot, but I'm still here. I'll get him this time. Oh, they're annoying. This that's the that's first. the gimmick. No, I've never it's seen this. Than your average pin, you know. I've never seen this, but I do have an eyelash in my right eye, and it sucks. Um, gay lord, the, the walking, talking, crazy dog. You know, um, remember that bowling gif? Is it impossible for you to lose weight? The answer is in the stars. Your astrological sign can guide you to the you best weight loss plan. Discover the secret joking. now by calling the Diet Horoscope line. Diet Use Horoscope. Eat shit. Date. Then listen to your astrological diet plan that includes the best time to start, foods to avoid, and much more. Oh, Just man, you can eat shit. Team get permission. Call now and let the stars reveal a new, slim, trim you. 1992. I'm very, very cold to horoscopes. And when people ask me what my sign is and, and all that, and they read horoscopes, I'm like mentally, I just check out. I'm sorry. I don't like, I don't mean to shit on anyone's parade. That's your thing. I respect it. But um, I, I've seen people get so incredibly into it where they start living their lives based around it. And it seems very restrictive. And then you see stuff like this. And it's just, I know this is a very different thing. This is clearly a scam, like clearly. But for me, horoscopes just don't do it for me. I like to tell people when they ask, what's your sign? Like they read me my horoscope and I say, oh no, I'm actually the other sign. And then they read another one. And they're like, that's so you. I'm like, oh no, I'm actually a Taurus. It's fun. You should try it. Here's, um. there's not much poop today, but I got a little poop for you. I gave boy. What the fuck? My name is Genome Soldier. Wait, 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 wait. Poop from the stream I just did? And for when you need it most. Oh my god. Oh, we're, we're so close. A few more reasons to get the finger me. <laughs> Mr. Roger, so, no. <laughs> Drugs. Drugs. Thank you. Oh, we're, we're so close. I can't believe you got the fucking Simpsons thing I just did an hour ago. Pull out. Pull out. 
get your drink on. And I can't like it. Movie as you American persons. Give. I give an expression. Can I come? As seven in the morning is our day. Poor Mr. Rogers. Come on! And see what's inside you. Oh my God! This is my fault that Mitch, Mr. Rogers is in this vile compilation. <laughs> Pull out. Finger me. No. Mm, serious. And here's your hot. <laughs> what the fuck is this? No, thought I turned that off. I didn't even make this. Pull out. That is wow. Uh, you got a lot of good ones in there, uh, and also the fact that you got the the fucking clip from The Simpsons is very impressive. So I was wondering for a minute. I'm like, why is Mr. Rogers featured so prominently? And then I saw that there was a clip of the Mr. Roger moment from Mario Kart. And now I just feel bad. Money. That is the only money. No mind tricks. Money is more fee. No money, no parts, no deal. Do I own a little money? But just money on me. Money. Money is my money. What the fuck? I, first of all, I love that the voice was, the music was replaced, so the voice was all crusty. <laughs> what did I just watch? <laughs> that was like. That was like a fucking brain reset flashbang commercial. I don't know what I'm supposed to get out of this. Money. <laughs> that is money. Money. No mind tricks. Money is more fee. No money, no farts, no. Tea. No money, no farts. So I own a little honey. But just money on me. Honey. Nani? Money is my money. One currency. So <laughs> what? My uh, here's the proper reaction to that commercial. Nani. He's trying to say Annie or money. Money does money own me or does Annie own me? I don't. Uh, there's a there's a lot to unpack here, and I hate it. But it also it. Money is more P. Money is more P. No No money, no parts, no P. I own a little Annie. But just money on me. I own a little Annie. Money isn't my money. Money isn't my money? Money isn't my money. Money is not real. No farts, no pee. Anyway, we'll, uh, gaming commercials now. I want to love you. Love you. I want to hold you. This is um, the newest sensational boy band from America. <laughs> BTS, break the spine. That's what they're doing to these guys right now. Skateboards, bikes, and blades. Three extremes got everything from kick flips, grinds, and 720s to vicious punches and jams. Uh, two Extreme was not that good of a game. Three Extreme might have been a little bit better, but whatever. They say there's no reason to be afraid of the dark, but when the lights go out, the nightmares come out. 
But with 40 winks, I can turn into a ninja, or transform into a huge monster, or even a super cool robot. I've got the power to conquer my nightmares and rescue my dreams. 40 winks on PlayStation Game Console. Yeah, the only thing I know about this game is that it was present on a number of underrated platformer lists. And then also, I remember it being blown the fuck out by other people. Uh, so I don't, I have no idea. See if you can guess the games. Better. <laughs> yeah, that sounded. That, that was the better sound. Hang on, I'm rewinding. Little, little clown music, MIDI. <laughs> yeah, sure. Amiga home computers. Wow. He watched he watched a dude fiddle with his joystick and kill one NPC in a video game, and that was enough for him. Yeah, this guy's a baby man, a huh? Girl, girly man, as they said in the as Saturday Night Live days. That was the the big. Actually, Arnold Schwarzenegger said that as governor and got in trouble for it. He called his opponents girly mans, and they didn't like that very much. And there was a lot of people that got real pissy about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, he was just re he was referencing an old SNL skit. Anyway, yeah. It's a Terminator, but he's much more fucked up looking. I like the costuming. That's my favorite part of this commercial. They gave this guy a real jabroni outfit. And he's got a very snake-like face. There's like, like a gorm to him that I quite like. Is that how you say this? Neo Geo. That music absolutely did not fit that commercial. Chat, not that I'm asking for an emote of this, but if anyone happens to make an emote of this, I don't know if it would work. I mean, you got a couple frames to choose from. I don't know what the emotion is. Like nervous gorm gorm. I don't know. I good luck. Three way scroll. High position visual. Sound selective mode. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Reaction. Contra. Oh, they went full alien with that commercial, which is kind of not really what Contra is about. Contra is much more aliens rather than alien, but I can't help but respect this commercial for being so fucking creepy and weird. And then they built, I mean, it's cheesy. It's got a flashlight in its face, but I love it. It's creepy and cool. I wonder if it rotted off because a lot of those, um, you probably have seen it like the Yoda and there was another one. I forget like the Ninja Turtle head, like some of that material. I forget the name of the material. Yeah, the Red Letter Media Gremlins. Um, they're, they're old and therefore the material rotted. Rot. What kind of material is that? I forget the name of it. But yeah, it, it ends up looking... Oh, latex foam. That's it. Yeah. Or foam latex. The flesh rots. The Let's foam. Sand. Rot. Rot. Bean farmer extreme. Let's wait in line. Awesome. This is all you guys have? <laughs> Where are all the good games? You guys have nothing. Zip. Nada. We have nada. Three. 
I know this commercial. With Gamefly.com, you can stay at home. Oh my God, I've seen this one. Selection on the planet, and we'll send them to you. Go to Gamefly.com now for your free trial. Rated E through M. I, I like that commercial quite a bit. Who is this actor, though? He looks familiar. Extreme. I feel like he became a thing and did some projects. This is all you guys have? I could be wrong. Paco Jumpo. <laughs> it's always something Pac-Land related. I can't escape that game. Stop Press A to move right. TV. Welcome to Sega Channel. It's cable, but you don't Give your hot opinion, Vinny. I'm done giving my hot Pac-Land opinion. The game is beneath my opinion. Whoa! Well, I love chat. You don't understand. I love when these old commercials have the uh, the wall of games. Oh, Dave, you already made the emote. I'll be real. The face isn't overly visible. It might be a little zoomed out. If you get that face real good, it could work a little bit better. But I applaud the effort and the speed. I have. Every Mario game. Well, you think you've mastered all there is to know. Mario teaches Mario typing, maybe not. Better think again. New Super Mario World, made possible by the power of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. You've never faced the challenge. Here's another so early many 90s enemies. unfitting so commercial. Many levels, so many levels. You never needed help from a dinosaur before. Super Mario World. You get it only with a Super NES. It's part of the growing lineup of games for the next generation from Nintendo. You've got to play it. You've got to have it. You've Who is that guy, though? Now you're playing with power. Super power. They didn't even go subliminal. They just went straight up fucking liminal. That doesn't make any sense either. But he's like, you got to play it. You got to have it. Your reputation matters. They just like basically are drilling into kids heads that if you don't have this, you're going to be a nerd. All across the United States. Speaking of nerds, this was the stereotypical 80s nerd, as you can see. The audio in this commercial is bizarre. One of the new games of the century from 20th Century Fox. Yeah, you know, when you see a commercial like that, and then you see the dude like um oh that's a pretty good one, Dave. I like that. I like that one a lot better. Um they said Spain. No, they didn't say Spain. Um the thing about uh, something like that is like you play that game and then your reaction would be like just boredom and not like whatever that nerd was doing. I say nerd lovingly. Good timing on this commercial. Doesn't make sense that it's been 23 years since this stupid game came out. Um, anyway, I'll be playing it on uh, the 30th because that's when it releases on the PC. And I'm excited for it because it looks like they fixed it. And I'm, I'm hoping it will be good. The game is fixed. Everyone wants that Taco Bell five buck box because everyone wants the new PlayStation Vita. Only Taco Bell is giving PS Vitas away before you can get one anywhere else. Get the box, enter the code, huh. and see if you're an instant winner. You're never There's a winner. Every 15 minutes. Willing to do more for a chance to get one? Download our mobile app to find out how. You want to win a Vita? Buy a lot of Taco Bell. Eat all of it. Don't throw any of it out. Eat it and come back when you're full of Taco Bell and your shits are big. If you shit in the winning toilet, 
you'll win yourself a PlayStation Vita so you could play it on your toilet at home. Shit yourself now at Taco Bell. There's a lot to unpack here. I <laughs> get it. Didn't even realize I made that. Puckman. Oh, that's Puckman. Holy shit. That um, device looks like the worst possible Pac-Man of all time. Oh, it looks awful. Why is the console shaped like a bedpan? After the Taco Bell, could use it such. What the boys are trying to say is that Parker Brothers, Popeye, Cubert, and Pogger are not only available for the Atari 2600, but for the Commodore 64, home computer, Atari 5200, and ColecoVision. About as close to real arcade. Can we bring this haircut back? For like people in suits. Popeye, Cubert, and Frogger. Also for all Commodore. No, all right. Systems and Ti. Now's your nose. Rewind, there was a good face. I hate such a Where? But for the Commodore 64 home computer, Atari 5200. This is just commercial chaos, is just emote farming. Not only available for the Atari 2600, Pogger. Commodore 64 home computer, Atari 5200, and ColecoVision. About as close to real arcade graphics and action as you can get. It's too blurry for a good face. I see. What the fuck? What? Weird ass experimental strange stop motion puppetry. You know what that reminds me of? The Return of the Jedi special effects that they did for the you know special edition. Raven. What's up, Meg? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. <gasps> Want to come try out Costa Recon? I'm fine. Ah! She hacking? Okay. <clears throat> oh, I've been meaning to ask some advice. Someone just said I usually well, skip really this part. To beef up my KDR Plus two chat member. Best sort of thing, and I noticed yours was pretty high. Thinking you might have a good tip for me. What's my KDR? Eighty-seven. Is that high? Uh, yeah, a bit. <laughs> wow. Never really paid attention. So what do you do? No idea. Really? No idea. <laughs> I guess I'm just good. Okay. Well, see you later. Later. Knew it. Well. Did you see that? See what? I was walking, no one around, just walking away, and I got knifed. Damn hackers, right? <laughs> you know what? The music. There's like wah wah on that guitar. This is actually almost porn music. I actually like that commercial. I thought it was entertaining. I might have had a Torok action figure. I don't remember. Man, Torok could have been such a cool franchise if they didn't turn it into some garbage fucking space marine shit. 
action figures from Playmates. It's so cool. There's like, okay, you have a fucking Native Americans with bows and arrows and, and fucking big giant guns killing dinosaurs with fucking lasers on their heads in spaceships, in jungles, in weird like caves and strange like uh, future past locations. It doesn't make any sense and it all comes together perfectly. And there's aliens there. There could have been so many wacky, like seriously, Night Dive, if they have the Turok IP, someone needs to do a retro FPS game in Turok style and just go fully over the top. Sorry, that's my rant. I always will rant about how much wasted potential there was with Turok. The comics were good. I did read the comics, a couple of them. With Guitar Hero mini games. There's four Guitar Hero mini games to collect. You can get one free in specially marked boxes of these Kellogg cereals. How does that even work? Someone just said, oh, these are ass. <laughs> like, well, how does that even work? <laughs> but this is how big Guitar Hero was at the time. This fucking game was huge. It almost is surprising to me it was so big. Uh, don't take that out of context, but you know what I mean. Do you want to know the truth? The reason you exist? Yeah. No, not really. I don't you think so. You have a purpose in this world. It is it's my time. Spin. You fulfilled it. It's sit and spin adventure. 3D. <laughs> the Brendan Fraser Is this still being worked on? This is no laughing matter. You could change the future. And say the world I played the original Sit and Spin Adventure, the first one. I don't think this is out, chat. You played one and two. Oh, so, uh, but this one, 3D, I guess I didn't play. Because it's not out yet. All right, well, if it's coming soon, then I shall play it. It's coming to your Nintendo, a new adventure. It's more powerful, it's more exciting, it's more dangerous, it's more unexpected. <laughs> Join Mario and friends in this new challenge. Defeat more enemies, get new powers. You've <laughs> never seen an adventure like this. Adventure, Super I Mario love that. Brothers Wonder, only for Nintendo. Now oh, you're, you're playing, playing with, with power. power. Okay, that's that's really good. That is a fan-made commercial. Um, I guess to get it, you would type Super Mario Brothers Wonder EUA commercial 1988 fan-made. That's a real fan game. That was very good. It tricked me into thinking it was real, too. Local and worldwide are next. I got moats. Mulch. Do you have the time? For the highest quality and precious mulch in Topeka, call Capital City Tree Care. 232-2030. I think he was reading that off of a sign. Well, you know what? I kind of want some mulch now. Here. <laughs> Here at Frank Electronics, we've been known for our personalized service for almost 30 years. And now we offer the best package prices in South Florida. All the best brands, including JL Audio and Max Audio. 
Oh, just stay home! Check out our great deals, including LED light sticks, in-dash DVD players, and 1600 watt amps. Frank Electronics, we bring the magic back to great car audio. Oh, this is like that show, I Dream of Booba. That was a good show back in the day. What's wrong with you, dude? Does the dog stink? <laughs> no, Grammy. Your butt stinks. <laughs> yeah, Grammy, it stinks really bad. <laughs> Oh, what? No, 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 no. Not your butt. That butt. Oh. Protect your family and your pets from secondhand smoke. Visit yesquit.org today to learn how you can quit smoking. Okay. Okay, you got me. You got me. That that worked. Good job. The, the dog. <laughs> Everything about this commercial is is wonderful. The dog, the pun, the actors, like the the other dog. <laughs> oh my god! Nice getting you. The acting, the, movie. the plot twist. Does your world seem cruel and cold? Everything seems rough and... I remember one of those, those, those old-ass thermostats had one of them. Well, maybe it's time you took some action, a step in the right direction. Is this KB Home Insulation, Casey's Best? That was it. Lotte and try the chicken. Hell yeah, more Robocar. Oh, that's not the real suit. It's too silver. Oh, what the hell, fried the chicken? What the hell, fried chicken? Wait, say that again. Tonight. Oh, what the hell, fried the chicken? Does this count? This is the quintessential example of a character coming out of the TV. Oh, what the hell, fried the chicken? Mm. <laughs> 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 Wait, Robo wants an Oreo, I thought. I think they were using Robocop 2 music and not the first one. Back to the Future 3 music? Wait, that's weird. Wait, asses? What? This is like crazy butt, but real. This is a very assy series of commercials. We humans sure are strange, aren't we? Oh! That to me, Saran! Huh? Aap kuch aaye ye wala toothpaste. Got it! What a shot! Gosh, meri toja bhi aisi hoti. Sume chaye ye wala cream. Television pe dhundli tasmire. To le aaye ye wala TV. Just may have purple ray sound or must boot picture quality. Must boot picture quality. I don't know what's happening. May cause partial blindness in the left ear. It took me too long to realize that that was a parody commercial. <laughs> Holy fuck. We turkeys can't appreciate celebrating Thanksgiving by eating a turkey. We think you should go to a Carvel ice cream store and buy an ice cream turkey. Then we can all have a party with you. Your participating Carvel ice cream store has Tom the turkey for hey, Thanksgiving. Hey, everybody, it's me, and Great Little. How you doing? Beautiful. Or you want to send one to a friend? Use the toll-free number that you see here. We honor most major credit cards. And have a happy holiday, folks. Why don't you come get a nice Thanksgiving turkey, huh? Yeah, get in there, get the nice Thanksgiving turkey. And baste it up. Put it in the microwave. Hmm? 
I love the microwave my dry turkey. And like the the best part of that is like the the the, the fucking delivery of the lines was even better than the, the filter. Can't appreciate celebrating Thanksgiving by eating a turkey. We what did he say? We turkeys can't appreciate celebrating Thanksgiving by eating a turkey. Soybean? go to a Carvel ice cream store and buy an ice cream turkey. Then we can all have a party with you. You're particular. Carvel ice cream store and buy ice an ice cream. Carvel ice, ice cream store and buy an ice cream store by eating a turkey. We think you should go to celebrating Thanksgiving by and appreciate celebrating Thanksgiving. Celebrating Thanksgiving. Celebrating. Oh, celebrating. 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 Okay, got it. Celebrating Thanksgiving by eating a turkey. We think you should go to celebrating Thanksgiving by and appreciate celebrating Thanksgiving. Celebrating. Oh, celebrating. Okay, got it. It's like a type of a positronic brain. Starman knows where to go for video rental savings. Old Town Video. Look at this cheap ass costume. Video and return it the same day by 10 p.m. and receive half off towards your next rental. Or rent any $3 video, return it by 7 p.m. the next evening, and get a dollar coupon towards your next rental. Or get an Old Town Video value card and get 10 $3 rentals for only $20. That is a wonderful, wonderful mascot. It's cereal Original too. Peanut butter cereal jelly time. Oh God. Yeah, put M and M's on the cereal. Yeah, real healthy breakfast. Chad, Chad, I hate it. I kind of want some Frosted Flakes with M&M's in them, though. Come in, sit down, relax, and we'll talk cereal. <laughs> what the fuck kind of store is this? Oh, man, it's in Florida. It's probably closed by now, but goddamn, I want some... I want to like go and make a, a, a monstrous... Cereal. Yeah, I guess you could just start a restaurant where you feed people cereal. You don't even have to learn how to fucking cook. Wow. But think about it, chat. You can get like a cornflake base or something like that. You throw some M&Ms in there. You throw some fucking toffee. Maybe some Skittles if you're feeling wild. Don't throw Skittles. You don't want to cross the beams. When I signed my new lease... I was determined to fill it with fresh furniture. That's why I went to H-Town Home Furniture. At H-Town Home Furniture, I got approved for the furniture I wanted with easy payments I can make later. Attention, single mothers. Got an eye for design and can use extra dough? If so, H-Town Furniture is where you need to go. The you pay you well to sit at home and play on yourself. <laughs> Get yourself to H-Town Home Furniture today. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, that that's simple and effective advertising. <laughs> oh. We need these 3D assets. We need them. We need to rip them and put them in VR chat. I want to hang out in VR chat on the Sotrigo um, bunt cake. Need mulch? Come to Mulch World. Any color, any amount. They make it there. Recycled from natural hardwood pallets. Come with your truck or call for delivery. Route 20 in Perrysburg, only three miles from I-75. Mulch World, 419-873-6852. Why so much mulch? What the fuck? Is there going to be like a, an ongoing mulch theme? Wake up. Oh, sleep in, did you? Miss the big Black Friday sale at your Honda dealer? Well, don't worry. We've extended the sale just for you. And we're calling it the After Thanksgiving Sale. Go, go. <laughs> There's great deals on every remaining 2012 Civic. 0.9% financing right. for just one thirty nine a month. Go forth, my feathered friend. Tell others. So many deals, so little time. 
the after Thanksgiving sale at your Valley Honda dealer. Don't miss it. I bet he's the most fun coworker ever. Either okay, there's two possibilities. One, he's not really like that. And that's just a really overly like, you know, he's going mental with his performance. Or he is the most fun coworker ever that you would never get sick of. Definitely not after a week of working with him. Another bootleg Robocop outfit. Chad, this is the Robocop season of Vine Sauce. I'm sorry. Not even close to heading, hitting these fools. Now, you, you need really good DSL if you're going to be a Robocop. Okay, great. Will there be more Rogue City streams? There will be. Uh, I don't know when yet, but soon. Uh, yes, Robocop. I, I just really would love to see them lined up all the Robocop suits. The one from the Philippines, the one from wherever the other one was, just all together. Are your bills piling up? Are you thinking about selling your gold? Don't lose your gold. Use your gold. The G Team will show um, you how. Bring your valuables to the gold team and turn your uh, gold into cash. Don't be a fool. Chad, what did I just order? Is she in there? She comes. Oh my God. Be short on cash again. Come to the gold team. 411 West North Avenue or 1543 West 47th or call 877-884-PON. Oh my God. Tasteful commercial. As tasteful as that chocolate on that cereal. Ohio corn is great for eating. Oh my God. And what we don't eat, we can use for renewable energy. I'm Janet Garrett and I approve this message. That's an overdub. And also listen to her. She's like exhaling after she says it. Message. Best actor. Here, let's try that again. Read the text on the little person commercial. Okay. Ohio corn is great for eating. Great for eating. And what we don't eat, we can use for... Are your bills piling up? Are you thinking about 43 West 47? What am I looking for? No little people were harmed in the making of this commercial. Don't get shortchanged when you sell your gold. Oh, okay. Still finding a way to throw a dig at the uh, actor. Really nice. Really, really Hello, fucking tasteful. <laughs> Jesus. For the city of Burleson. I have here with me biscuits, and we're going to give you some tips on frying a turkey. Um... What you're seeing here is the frozen turkey and the water getting down in the oil. I've seen so many of these the past two weeks. Water and creates the oil to run over the pan and get into uh. the flames. And it creates a huge fireball. Biscuits was sacrificed for this PSA. First, we want to make sure the turkey is not frozen. When it's frozen, it creates gases in the peanut oil and boils over. Second, we want to make sure that the turkey's dry. So we ask that you uh, towel dry your turkey, just like we'd towel dry biscuits when he gets a bath. The Burleson Fire Marshal's office wants you to have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. That turkey is quite, goodbye, biscuits. quite gormless. It's a very gormless turkey. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, what happened to my voice? That got weird for a second. <clears throat> biscuits, you're all right. Biscuits Suzanne is still alive to this Dota. day. Hold it. Dick Bigger this Jr. This tiny lady, this tiny lady got red, red, this I mean, this is all you need. You don't even need the rest of the commercial. You just need this. Tiny lady got rid of Illinois' huge unpaid backlog. Oh, boy. Backlogs. Backlogs. Log. This tiny lady got rid of Illinois' big, huge backlog of unpaid bills. 
they're trying to I think they're trying to show that this is a real person and not an actor. This tiny lady what? is getting rid of Illinois' huge backlog of bills. Unpaid bills. Oh boy. Wanna do it one more? She's our firecracker. <laughs> I like our <laughs> He never got it. They didn't even give him the take. If he got it, they didn't show they didn't show the take. But his name is Dick Bigger. His name is a Dick Bigger. That's got to be fake. Mendoza. Hold it. This tiny Dude. lady. This tiny lady. I can't. I just don't. It, it, some say he's still trying to do this to this day. Richard Bigger Jr. Don't try to Google him. You can never Google Dick Bigger. If you're broke and you know you're out of luck, get a payday loan and leave with the full truck. Come to color time, they got what you need. They got Xboxes, mix boards, and PS3s. All of the people are friendly and fast. Low monthly payments, you don't need a lot of cash. So come into color time and they'll treat you right. Largest amount of appliances that you can find. Beds, couches, TVs, they can all be mine. Six months, same as cash, just sign on the line. Leave with the full truck, deliveries on time. So come on into color time. This tiny lady is going to eliminate all the unpaid bills here in Illinois. This, this tiny lady is going to be in all the bills. All the bills. Unpaid bills. Unpaid bills. My name is Dick Bigger Sr. And this tiny lady it's gonna be undoing all the bills. If you love mulch, I love mulch. God, mulch, mulch, mulch God, again mulch is not a question. It's the answer to beautifying your landscaping and protecting your flower. Got mulch has mixed hardwood and hemlock plus colored enhanced mulches to beautify your landscape the way you want. Professional landscapers and homeowners are welcome every day except Sunday at Got Mulch. Got Mulch is the answer and has even more answers about how much and what kinds of mulch you need for your lawns, flower beds, and gardens. Get mulch at Got Mulch. Route wow. 17, see west of Oweco. I, I can you put M and M's on that too? I wonder. Hey. I gotta get a mulch sponsorship for the like. channel. Wow. Maybe a lie. Tell me. No, me. I'm big bang. Eh, go up. Eh, go up. Eh, go up. Um, so what? He never knew. There's a couple amazing things to know. Everything about this commercial is wonderful, but I like the punk rock poster in the background. It's just punk rock, but the peace sign. Here we are again, celebrating Thanksgiving and this big fat turkey. Hi, Marty. What was that turkey's name? The oldest furniture business in Indianapolis is celebrating Thanksgiving. And we're going to have all the soldiers at half price, plus we're going to give you a free chair. And we're going to have all the bedroom suits at half price, plus we're going to give you a free mattress and box bed. I thought we were going to, like... Ready to carve up this bird? I'm going to carve up this turkey just like I carve up the competition. 
it's not really cutting that turkey. You, you fucking liar. Oh, that's all right. He, when he says he cuts up the competition, he, he stabs them. He actually stabs them. Olha o que acontece com seu Fusca quando você não usa peças originais Volkswagen. <risos> Agora olha o que acontece quando você usa peças originais Volkswagen. <risos> Deixe o seu Fusca feliz. Use somente peças originais Volkswagen. Gerard is back, but Whoa. where has he been? His voice. On the internet, that, that guy was abducted by aliens. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this a Neil Breen movie? Where am I? Who am I? Get the anal probe. No, no, no. That is an insane commercial. Where's Baton Rouge? Why does the announcer sound like this? Eric Gerard is back, but Eric Gerard is back. <laughs> but where has he been? You can hear the gaps between the sounds, which that's how sound works. But I, it's amazing how deep that voice is. Eric Gerard is. Eric Gerard is back, and he, and he is about to get an anal probe. Let's see if I can go lower. He's back. He, Eric Gerard is back. That's my lowest note, chat. <clears throat> That's my lowest note without help. Bruh, this tiny, this tiny lady, this tiny lady. Hey, no value, yeah, 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 man. Do we have an afrista box? Do we have an afrista box? Do we have the best afrista box in the for you? Do we have an afrista box? Do we have an afrista box? Very elting, very elting, which have an afrista box. On the next episode of 24. You're in this way over your head. Start talking. The good news or the bad news? The bad news. Terrorists from Antarctica have kidnapped the Postmaster General. The good news? Well, I just closed a great deal on a spacious three bedroom house courtesy of ERA Northern Lights Realty. Twyla, I need a house and fast. I only have 23 hours and 45 minutes. I, it, that, it just went too fast. It just went too fast. I see what they were doing. They just, they just called it 24. It does look like a college project. That uh, hypnosis one, I don't even remember it. That's weird. Black days, huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Chat, I'm I'm tickled by fake versions of well-known songs. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. He's one of the biggest comedians in South America. Oh, is that um Grunge Water George? Don't need it. Oh Mulch it. Uh call Mulch it today. <laughs> mulch. That was that was great. She got obliterated by mulch. Don't read it. Mulch it. Mental. 
What are you doing looking at a map? What's the matter? You don't have a smartphone? Yeah, well, oh, what God. was yours? I got this. I know this guy. It's not a smartphone. That's one of those. He was in Bronx Tale. Tale. Works for me. Works for you. Well, you oh, wait, no, 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 no. This, this is Big Pussy. Yours. Never mind. This is a classic Cadillac. It's a classic Cadillac. Wait, who is this guy? Well, I guess we're lucky we made it up to Buffalo with that one. I just want to get back to Arthur Avenue. Have a nice slice of New York style. Is this Joey Diaz? Well, I'm starving. I'm not waiting that long. You can have to find us a joint around here. Whoa, bada bing, look. Pizza. Pizza. You think it's New York style? Well, let's go check it out. I can't tell if it's Big Ooh, Pussy Joey pizza. Diaz or yeah, the guy from Bronx pizza. Tale. Good pizza, huh? You got pepperoni. That's Big line. Pussy. Give us a pie. Non-Sopranos fans, that is actually the character's name. Big Pussy. It's normal. Mm. Good. Nice and thin. Yeah. Look how uh, the pepperonis, they cut them all in like yeah, a it's round. Circle. Pepperonis yeah. round. <laughs> what other good, good shape would it be? Zeddies? Oh, I love Zeddies. <laughs> Have a slice. Go back to sleep. You ain't getting mine. Well, then I want one of yours. Yeah, no, his actual name is um, Biggest Pussolini. So they shorten it to Big Pussy in the show. It's happening now, and Madman McKay wants you to be the first to know. Right now, the madman is having his incredible five-month interest-free sale. Absolutely no money down, no payments, not one penny interest for five months. Color televisions, VCRs, microwave ovens, home stereos, and appliances. Wow, look at that technology. Call the madman today or visit the madman McKay nearest you. <laughs> okay. Disconnect the head from the body. That's fine. That's I'll buy the product. Whatever. Fucking give it to me. Right, right furniture here. Bring it in the new year with a dynamite fifty percent off. Come get some. Like this sofa love seat, fifteen eighty eight. Uh uh. Sofa love seat. Five piece dining room set, eight eighty eight. Uh uh. Four forty four. Come get some. Memory foam mattress, seven ninety six. Uh uh. 398 eight-piece bedroom set 1998 uh, uh, it's forcing a meme so hard price furniture corner 59 and fond come get some come get some he's got a couple catchphrases but he, uh, uh, is the main one <laughs> all right well no need to make fun of me for forcing memes my memes are good Ray Leno is a phenomenal character Orlando. Orlando. Is it always Orlando, though? Like, are there other locations that can exist, or is Orlando deigned to be the one? All right, we get a little New Zealand the Olympics. The best of the best. Who's the fastest? Who's the strongest? Who cares? Let's watch these guys. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What you just witnessed was borderline talent, not actual talent. Upload yours at scoff.co.nz and you could win this bad boy. That's what it's for. It's for chips, barbecue chips. Wow. I think we heard the famous fart without the reverb. Someone said starting phone commercials early, huh? Maybe. Where can you find the pot raiser fit for a dog at the prices even a hot can find? Oh my god. Only at Pato's. No credits, no drugs, no mind tricks, no problem. More Wado Media? 
including Tlagats, Tlagats, Pegats, and Wapipwe. No Java junk here at Watos. <laughs> One of the finest Podracer parts your mommy can buy. Financing available on all vehicles. At Watos, we buy, sell, and trade. Exchange your old land speed for the finest in the Podracer. Is this really him? <laughs> Shopping anywhere in the else, home? just a gamble. For a limited time, get two tickets to next year's Bunda Eve Classic with your purchase of a new or a used Podracer. Why would he do this? While you shop only at Watto's. Every Podracer on the lot has an open-air cockpit and twin-engine cooling device for those hot Tatooine days. Phew! <laughs> All of our Podracers meet pod racing codes at Watto's. You'll find the best in, um, the reclaimed Padres apart. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you pay for this Cola Pongrat plug F moment with split X configured racing engine? Huh? Hey, just nineteen nine nine. Might have been a student project. I think maybe. Uh, having a trouble with your pit line, huh? I have only the best in stock. You won't find more reliable droids anyway. Come on down to Watto's and let me take you for It's a long-ass commercial, too. Watto's, located in the downtown Mos Espa, offers the finest pod racers in the outer rim. And remember, if it's not Watto's, <laughs> it's just <laughs> junk. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Was the, wow, we just wat we Wattonist Watto's death. Isn't that something? Really interesting. I have no idea why that exists, but it exists, and we just watched it. And it sounded like the actual Watto, Andy Seacomb, which it maybe was a student project that they got him for. Could be. Could be um, someone hired him just for a shit post, or it could be it could be an excellent imitator. My Watto doesn't sound like that. People think I do a good Watto. I do a good version of Watto that is mine. It's like, hey, Andy, how are you doing, Andy? Huh? It's a me, your old pal, what the? You know, but it's different from that. It's you can tell, you can tell the difference if you hear the real Watto compared to mine. It's okay. Mine's a little deeper. Mine's got there's a different inflection. I mean, I haven't studied the character. Yours sounds more high quality. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Vinny, yours sounds more like Watto than Watto. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> That's so forced soul. All right, let's do the mobile. Sorry. Get the app now. Yep. Okay. Well, that was a brain refresh, and now I'm in mobile mode. Here we go. I mean, these bridge games have been around forever. I, I, I cut my teeth on playing these fucking games. Okay. Okay, they're even going to fit across the bridge. Eat shit. Sure. Okay. That tiny little bridge. It's finally, it's happened. The amazing, the amazing digital circus has become skibbity mobile ads now. It, oh God, this, this happened so quickly. And that was so low quality. They, they didn't even, there was nothing except a model. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? I played... Oh my god, I think I've played some of this person's videos before. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, this is just going to stick with me for the rest of my existence, isn't it? Okay. 
Pingus Goose. Someone said, Vinny, this is an idle clicker. I've played it. It's good. An idle clicker, and you liked it. Okay. I can't talk shit because I've done some idle clickers. But what, do you, what even does it look like? Is it just babies and geese? Please give me beer. Please give me beer. There are 60 types of beer. Which one would you like to drink? I want to talk to the manager. Oh my god. Hi. What can I do for you? Oh, you only have five OK power in Call of Dragons. Don't be arrogant. My arrogant. friend is the leader of the Alliance and has five million power. Wow. I already have 30 million power. How, How did, did you, you do, do it? it? Remember to choose the right faction. I start with Wilderbeck, the Orc faction. They reward physical damage and siege speed. In early <laughs> stages, I built a half-orc army to collect a bunch of resources by stealing from others and upgrading my soldiers. It, again, right it's just now, like download the Call most of Dragons basic to get an elite and, hero for and free. To, to I do better, you have to probably pay. Blade. This champion can deal high damage to enemies and also give the wrath buff to all allies, increasing damage. With Becca at the helm, my infantry captured Hydra. This God, monster can deal speech. high range damage and grants it, a poisonous so, aura. My why? infantry army is invincible. Are you afraid of being beaten up? Not at all. I have Grey This is a stolen a mobile game commercial? A treasure that can deal high O damage and control the party. I like fighting Mafia alone. Magic, I like mastery. fighting Mafia alone? Okay, chat. Apparently this is a stolen video game commercial that they put their own game into. I mean, yeah, there's there's blurred subtitles, obviously, and there's also, you know, people speaking underneath the text to speech. Wow. Wow. I believe this is DMCA, so we're gonna fan of your music. I've been dancing to Skibbity all Skibbity. day. Skibbity. DJ Thanks, Skibbity. Bro. I'm glad you like my music. I was wondering if can sing for me. If can sing for me, sure, I'll hook you up. Yeah, we'll go ahead and mute that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Toilet chat. <laughs> That's you. Chat, it's you. You're in a game. That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Of course, except this time it's with gorillas and eight and wolves. Okay. Wow, is this the Lion King live action film? Quote unquote live action. Wolf game. Wolf game. Why did the narrator sound pained to say that? Wolf game. Wolf game. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Starting strong. Oh, the family bow and arrow. I'm sorry, what does this have to do with what I just watched? She... Did she die? Wait, what? Wait a minute. That is is the implication that she is in fact uh, no longer a mortal coil, part of the mortal coil. Potato. Another classic potato ad. Let's see. So someone. Okay, there's death already. The broken down house, right? Boom. Huh? Fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You can throw your conscience away. Well, why'd you put why'd you do why you do this? So empty. 
pretty pretty good music though. Original lyric was trash. Sounds like your music, kinda. Oh, come on, not everything with a guitar sounds like my music. Someone said, I love Nirvana. I, I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Um, I didn't even pay attention to the commercial. I just saw turkeys exploding. Uh, shit. Again, I, all these turkeys had a name. They had a family. They had a home. And people are just fucking throwing them in like uh, what Snoop Dogg is is using these days for his smokeless fire. Shit. That was a mobile game? This is a mobile game? It's bring your goat to work day. Country escape available now oh. anytime, anywhere. All right. Well, that wasn't like I, no one got pregnant. No one got killed. No one threw up. So, I mean, plus three. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Pregnant. Let's see what else. Danger. There's the baby. <laughs> oh shit! Danger from dog. Busted ass house, and somehow unrelated gameplay. Got it. <laughs> the baby yank from the umbilical cord was certainly something. Fuck. What a what a what a world. It's a tough world. This is what real life is like. It just sucks that some people are giving birth on bikes all the time. It's like wait. What? <laughs> Deroid mic that's not how that works. What? Wait, why is this one got a bra? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. It's find wife. Wife and bra. Life good. Oh my god. Hang on, there's an end poop that I'm acquiring right now. There's an end poop. Okay. I got it. I got it. Cool. We got a little bit more. And then the end poop. God. Crad dog? Begin the revenge. Okay. I mean, it, again, it's psychotic, but after you watch some of the other psychological bombs, it, it really isn't that bad. Speaking of psychological bombs, can't be real. This has to be another parody. This has got to be another parody commercial. Chad, I think this one's real. Oh no. And it's again, it's just Fallout Shelter, but with a disturbing intro. Where did the ass go? He pooped it. Why? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> no fucking way. No way. No way. I, I refuse to accept that that's real. This has to be a parody. No way. And then just regular gameplay. The fart hatched out of his ass cheeks. He's playing drums? Wait, does he get turned into a zombie from the fart? I think the implication is that his farts are toxic and creating zombies. There's no reason for a fart, but throw it in anyway. Huh? Okay. Okay. That's fake. Obviously, well, not a real product or a mobile game. I just like that a lot. That's this good. So it's just every now and then there's something in the pack that is designed to uh, throw you off a little bit. That said, though, that's the end of the commercial chaos, except we do have one more poop. It's end poop. What if I get pregnant and my pregnancy craving is birth control? Then what? <laughs> okay, what does she want? My mommy? Huh. Okay. What the fuck? Big dicks are here. Big dicks are here. Big dicks are here. Come, cummy, cummy, come, cummy, cummy, come, cummy in my tummy. Would you? What the fuck? Man, I just said that about an hour and a half ago. Vinny was like the Jar Jar Binks of that video. He was the key to all of it. What? Wait, what video was he talking about? No, I just unlocked it. This one? Fair enough. I like, I like dick. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Catman got you. <laughs> yeah, big booties. All right. Wow. Really choosing the best of the best here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this mulch shit is amazing. You could take the ducks at the park. Top five alien Hitlers, I think Mike was talking about. Okay. You are so fast. Holy shit, dude. Plump ass juiciness. Can I come? No. Well done. Thanks. Come on! <laughs> Fuck. Steel exit signs from a hospital. <laughs> oh, we're, we're so close. Fuck you, little bitch. What? <laughs> you have to give me cheese. Cheese, cheese. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Yeah. Chewing gum. Center flash. Sexy feet. Beautiful feet. I gave birth. <laughs> oh. I am the problem. is surprising to me it was so big <laughs> <laughs> my name oh, is genome soldier and i like to spin why is why is this spoon spinning out and you, um, you can stay is it a spun <laughs> rip well done. But you did. 
put put it where? Put your dick where? I don't know. Wow, that was a hell of a commercial chaos. And again, chat, that was fucking put together so quickly because I misspoke when Mad Clown asked if I was uh, wanting the pack for this weekend or the one after. And I somehow misspoke and I thought I was getting commercials today. So he ended up putting this together very, very quickly. Like he had it somewhat done already, but then he finished it up in like, Two and a half hours, if that. So, I mean, good work, Mad Clown. You you really made these commercial segments so much better. And the fact that you put in clips from the stream while it was still happening is innovative new shit posting. Well done. Um, for anyone who submitted commercials, there will be uh, next month, we'll have a full list of credits because we just didn't have the time. Uh, also, if you have commercials that you'd like to submit, Individual commercials are fine, but the preference is that you zip them and put them in uh, like a drive of some sort and, you know, tell me what kind of theme you're going for. If there's a theme, um, include your name in a notepad and that way uh, we can, you know, we can take a look. But also there is um, there is a Google Doc of all the uh, like an Excel spreadsheet kind of thing of all the commercials that commercials that have been shown. I know that's like a little insane at this point to go through. So the best thing that you can do is just kind of watch the videos and try to find a commercial that has not been shown. Uh, but yeah, it's better if you submit like packs of like 10 commercials or more. That way it's easier for Mad Clown to sort through. Uh, thank you all for watching this. Thank you for anyone who's contributed to this segment. It's been, uh, it's, you know what? It's gotten a lot more fun. I like it way more now than I ever have. I actually look forward to it now and I, I look forward to mulch as well <laughs>